I've been going through the most amazing pruning and it's been really painful. <laughs> this is hard for people, huh? It's hard for me. It's hard for me. Because I feel like I haven't preached the whole gospel. And I repent. I've been asking Jesus to take me deeper into the gospel. Just to show me his heart for humanity. One of the hardest things for me in witnessing and sharing my heart with people is that when a person doesn't see their need for Jesus, it bothers me to the point of tears. I'm like, Lord, how can I reach them? How can I reach them? How can I reach them with the gospel? But there's really no way for a person to realize their need for grace if they don't realize that they've offended God. Here's the deal. One day, you and I are gonna all face the Lord. It's the truth. Are you guys with me? Is this too much? I've been going through it, buddy. You have no idea. I've been like trembling, shaking, and in a new place of the fear of the Lord. And in a new place of the inspiration of the Holy Spirit to bring the reality of the law into a witness to show a person their need for grace. How can you want to be found if you don't know you're lost? The Bible says that we're dead in our sin. Dead. The wages of sin is death. It's the truth. We have to somehow get to people and not just promise them a better flight. Help me here. Am I the only one that's convicted to the, to the core? This isn't legalism, it's the truth. There is, there is a day of wrath coming. It's no joke. But if we don't understand that God's God's rule or his commandments are his laws. And his laws, if we want to do it as a good person, we have to obey them all. And nobody has. Nobody has. And so we have to know that we've sinned against God. And so we, we need to know that God's grace and sending Jesus and putting Jesus as the substitute for my sin, that we actually become the righteousness of God that is in Christ Jesus when we see the proper reason that he died for us. He didn't just die for us to give us a great life. An abundant life is, are the fruits of the gospel, but it's not a selling point. A reason for doing it is because you don't want to live that life of sin and offend a holy God. He's a holy God and he loves us with everything we are, everything he is, like he is love. But because he is love doesn't mean that he's not going to enforce the reality of the truth. <laughs>